Hey everyone, it's Steph. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if this isn't your first time, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite fishing tricks in Animal Crossing New Horizon, and it's only going to take you 20 bait. The first thing you want to do is place a Mario Wolf pipe by the location of the fish that you're trying to catch, and the other one right outside your door. This ensures you are using the least amount of time possible to get to the location you want. Your second step is to make sure you have your 20 bait crafted and they're in the first two slots of your inventory. You also want to make sure that your fishing rod is out and in your hand to maximize efficiency. The premise of this trick is that we're trying to beat the auto save timer in the game. It can be a little tedious, but I promise you it's worth it in the end. And there it goes. Now we fish. It might also be helpful for you to have a wiki page open or a guidebook next to you just so you know what kind of shadow size you're looking for. I'm looking for a string fish which is one of the largest shadows in the game so I'm actually just throwing out bait until I see that big shadow that I'm after. Remember this trick is all about efficiency so we don't want to be wasting our time reeling in a fish that couldn't possibly be the one that we're after. It can be difficult trying to differentiate between the shadow sizes because after a while of fishing, they all start to look the same towards the end. And as you can see, I really struggle with fishing in rivers because of all the curves and the angles and it's really just not a good time. If you reel in a fish that's not the one you're after, that is okay. Just keep moving on and throw more bait into the water until you get the one you want. The autosave timer in the game is about every two and a half minutes, so you want to make sure that you are fishing within that two and a half minute cycle. When I go on these fishing expeditions on stream, I actually set a timer for one and a half minutes because I am an extremely anxious and paranoid person and I'm constantly worried that I'm going to go over the autosave timer and I'm going to lose all of my bait because ain't nobody got time to go and dig up for more manila clams and craft them into bait. So far, I've only used seven bait in my first attempt to catch this string fish. And since this isn't a string fish, what I'm going to do is actually exit the game. So you want to press the home button, press X on Animal Crossing and close the software. This means that the game hasn't saved that you've used seven bait so far and haven't caught any string fish like you wanted. The recent addition of the Mario warp pipes have actually been a lifesaver because back in the day, you actually had to run across the entire map up cliffs just to get to the location you want and it was already eating into your auto save timer. As you can see I still have 20 bait left in my pockets and we're going to keep trying for this string fish. I've gone ahead and put in a bait counter in the bottom left corner. This is going to show you how much bait I would have had to actually use to catch these fish without this trick because again nobody has time for that. The trick that I've learned with shadow sizes in fishing is that if you think it's the one that you're after, it's usually not. As you can see by this graphic, they are very similar in size, so it's really easy to confuse them. But size 5 and size 6 are some of the largest fish in the game. They're really easy to tell what it is that size, and I am constantly picking up size 4s thinking it's a string fish, which is super embarrassing as I make this video about how to fish. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, when I do this trick myself, I usually only use a one and a half minute timer as opposed to two minutes or a two and a half, just because I'm super paranoid that I'm gonna go over the auto save timer and I'm gonna lose all my bait. So that usually means that I can only get in maybe three to four, and if I'm lucky, six to seven reels. And that just depends on the shadows that spawn in the river when I do throw out the bait. If I throw out lots of bait and they're all tiny ones, I can usually get six to seven spawns. And if they're size fours and I mistake them for size fives and sixes, then it usually only means about four spawns. As you can probably see, I accidentally went over my autosave timer in the previous fishing cycle and I lost about four bait, which isn't too bad in the grand scheme of things because if you look at the bait counter in the bottom left corner, I would have used 57 bait up until this point.
this point, I think I'd been fishing for about two hours. I don't even remember, but it was a while. And like I said, it does take a lot of time, but honestly, catching look look at that look at that string fish were you expecting that no i don't think so and did you need to go and find 60 bait for it no i don't think so so i'm telling you it's worth it after donating my string fish to blathers i went and restocked on my bait and i headed to my next location to fish it's also a good idea to kind of group the fish that you want it's also a good idea to, I guess, kind of group the fish that you want to catch into the same location and then try and fish for them at the same time. Here, I'm trying to either catch a tuna or a blue marlin, both a size six fish on the pier. So this means that I have a higher chance of catching at least one of the fish that I want and you're not so disappointed or wasting any time. As you can see, we went from 108 bait when I caught the blue marlin to 210 when I caught this tuna. So I can't stress enough the amount of time you're saving with this trick. It didn't take me much longer to catch my last fish of the night, which is a size two barrel eye in the ocean. I don't know about you guys, but things from the deep sea scare the heck out of me. So there you have it. I used maybe a maximum of 25 slash 30 bait in total to catch a blue marlin, a tuna, a barrel eye and a string fish, which in total would have cost me 240 bait. So if you like this trick or you want to see any more Animal Crossing tricks in the future, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, let me know if it worked for you. I'd love to know what kind of fish you caught with this trick and it would really mean a lot to me. It supports the channel so much by just liking the video and leaving a comment because it shows engagement. So if you do, thank you so much for your support and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!